raise your hand so our people can find you. Texas Tech Red Raiders student athletes are Kevin O'Banner and Kevin McCuller. We'll open things up with an opening statement from head coach Mark Adams. Does he ever smile? That's what I want to know. <laughs> there you go. You got okay. one. Well, again, you know, just so incredibly happy for our, uh, these guys up here, for our basketball team to, to um, stay alive and keep, keep moving forward and play another game. At the same time, you know, I'm, uh, I'm at that, those last two or three minutes, I don't want this season to be over, so I know Coach Brace feeling the same way. So I, I certainly feel for uh, Notre Dame, and, and uh, they played so hard and, and, and played good enough to win. We just made a lot of great plays down the stretch, and uh, couldn't be more happy for these guys up here in our team. Questions first for the student athletes. Pete Christie, KCBD, for, for both Kevins. Just talk about digging deep. You guys were down in four straight defensive stops, your bread and butter, and then you hit key free throws down the stretch. Just talk about those last two minutes getting it done. Uh, we just had that mindset of not trying to go home, you know, you know, all praise to the Lord. You know, we just have, we just love each other, and, you know, this is what March is all about. And, you know, the game is not over even though when we were down. So we just had that mindset of just, you know, chipping it away, you know, one possession at a time. And, you know, to God be the glory, we came out victorious. Well, yeah, you know, it's a March game. Um, you know, I'm so excited right now. I can't put in the words. I'm so thankful for my brothers on the team, Coach Adams and stuff. And um, it came down to defense. We know we had to get stops against a really good Notre Dame team. And uh, that's what we ended up doing. And uh, we hit some big time free throws. Carlos Silva from the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Uh, Kevin O'Banner, in terms of just getting that offensive rebound to get the two free throws, how important was that for y'all? And just how di how difficult is it to kind of make a play like that, especially in a clutch situation there? I mean, every, every play matters, you know, especially down the down the stretch. And I just want to win, you know. We just want to leave Texas Tech better than we found it and, uh, you know, give credit to a good Notre Dame team. But we just want to win. And, uh, you know, we just try to do whatever it takes for us to win, even though if it's an ugly win, you know, we'll take it. So we're just grateful just to be a part of that and, you know, grateful to advance to the Sweet 16. Carlos from the AJ again with a follow-up. Kevin, uh, for Kevin McCuller, can you just speak to what Marcus was able to do? Obviously, had his name called, got that huge block, and then not only that, but they made the two free throws that really fueled that 10-1 run to close the, close the game for you all. Oh, yeah, Marcus, um, he's a veteran. Um, you know, he's been in big-time games before. He could start on any team in the country right now, and um, he comes off the bench, and he gives us what we need. He knows his role, and, and he's been putting in the work on his free throws. I don't know if y'all noticed, he shot him with his right hand, and um, that's just huge. You know, that's just the dedication and work that he puts in, and that's my brother and my roommate. So, uh, yeah, I'm proud of him. <laughs> uh, Joseph Hoyt, Dallas Morning News. Kevin McCuller. Um, Notre Dame hit their ninth three-pointer with about five minutes left to take a lead. They're 15-1 when they get double-digit three-pointers made. I guess in the last five minutes, how much of an emphasis was defending the perimeter and trying not to get another three-pointer on you? Uh, we was um, emphasizing that a lot throughout the whole game, but um, credit to them. They got in great spots and drive and kicked and uh, made some big-time shots there, a really good shooting team. And um, we just know down the stretch that we had to eliminate that or, uh, you know, the game probably wouldn't have went our way. And uh, we made some big-time plays on defensive end. And I think it was just our will to just – we didn't want to send the seniors home yet. And uh, we want to keep playing basketball as long as we can and try to make a run at this thing. So uh, we, we just so close, and uh, we all – we buckled down. Mason Horodisky with KMAC News. For Kevin O'Banner, second straight game with a double-double now. What helps you get into the mindset to rise to the occasion in big games like this in March? He's I'm a dog. <clears throat> I mean, I just give, you know, all the praise to the Lord. Uh, I know, you know, when big moments come, you know, I just don't want to let my teammates down. You know, like I said, you know, we love each other a lot. You know, we love Coach Adams. You know, we love, you know, our brothers. And it's really like a familyhood over here. And, uh, you know, whatever it takes, you know, nice I'm not scoring the ball. You know, if I could do little things like offensive rebound or just 50-50 balls, just do the little things, you know, I'm willing to do whatever. You know, as long as we win, you know, we're all happy. And I'm just grateful just to, you know, advance and play in the Sweet 16. John Titel from HoopsHD.com for O'Banner. Um, nine months ago, you weren't even on the team. You were figuring out where to transfer. Um, today, you tied the school record for most rebounds in an NCAA attorney game. Um, how happy are you with your decision? And how does this Sweet 16 compare to the last Sweet 16? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm very happy with the decision I made, you know, playing for a guy friend coach and Coach Adams and, you know, having, you know, my brothers alongside that, you know, will be my friends for life. You know, I'm truly grateful. 
And, uh, you know, the last week 16, you know, it's all, all have different memories, you know, I'm grateful to be a part of, you know, each one of them, you know, with last year being a 15 seed and, you know, this year, you know, I, I making it to the Sweet 16, you know, there's always a new story in, in play and I'm just grateful just to be a part of, you know, March Madness once again and, you know, just to keep breaking history. Uh, but if we didn't get the win, it wouldn't all matter. So I'm just grateful that we just came out victorious. Any other questions for the student athletes? One in the back. Levon Whitaker, ABC 57 News in, in South Bend. Uh, Kevin McCullough, uh, you have four fouls down the stretch, but like you still complete, continue to play really tough defense and really stick it to the, to the Irish in this game. Um, how, how does that, how did you, how were you able to do that down the stretch with four fouls? Um, you know, my game, it always starts on the defensive end. Um, you know, I'm always going to compete on both ends of the floor. And I just know that uh, when I picked up my four fouls, kind of frustrated, but Coach Adams and, and the staff, they trusted me to go out there and, and be smart and make smart decisions. And uh, my team, they had my back for me, you know, if I uh, went for a steal or, you know, somebody was trying to go at me to try to get me fouled out the game, they had my back. Um, so, you know, just trying to keep my head clear and I'm just so happy to come on with the W. Um, Arnold Schaefer, KLBK back in Lubbock. This is for both of you guys. It got loud those last two minutes and your, your friends, your family was there, Red Raider Nation. This kind of comment on the support that you've had from Red Raider Nation up until this point. Uh, yeah, being way out here in San Diego, it felt like almost a home game. Uh, they, uh, Red Raider Nation travels well. Um, it's the best fans in the country for a reason. And, uh, you know, it was just loud on the stretch, and we needed them to get us going as well. And uh, it was big time. You know, just to pick up what uh, K-Max said, uh, you know, just felt like a home game. You know, just grateful for the fans that came out, you know. Of course, praying for safe travels uh, as they head back. But, you know, we're just truly grateful to have, you know, such, you know, good fans to support us, you know win or lose, and uh, you know, we came back victorious, and we're truly grateful that we can make them proud. Uh, Christian Hay, KTXT Lubbock. You guys shot nearly twice as well in the last game as you did this game. How much confidence does it give you going through the rest of the tourney, knowing you can win scoring well and win scoring ugly? Um, yeah, the ball going to go in some nights, and some nights it's not. Um, but we know one thing that can be consistent is our defense and our effort. Um, you know, we just want to be the hardest playing team out there always. and. Um, we're just glad to still be playing in the Sweet 16. I know at the beginning of the year, nobody really picked us, even ranked us or anything like that. So we're just trying to prove people wrong and just keep advancing as a family. All right, final question for the student athletes. Brady King, Fox 34 in Lubbock. For both of you guys, made big defensive stops and free throws down the stretch. What do you tell each other when you're huddling up when there's less than a minute to go in moments like that? Are you, are you trying to go home? You know, <laughs> I mean, there's, there's no way to sugarcoat yeah. it. Are you trying to go home? Uh, and uh, we just had that mindset, to, you know, to continue to play, and you know, we came up victorious. Yeah, it get it get a little hostile in the timeouts. We be trying to like come on, hype each other up, but uh, we don't be trying to go home. So, um, you know, we all lock in and we listen to each other. Um, that's one thing that's great about us. We're so close that um, you know, it's no hard feelings in there, and it gets competitive. So we all want to win. Thanks for the student athletes. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Congratulations. Congratulations. And now questions for Coach Adams, and I'll try to smile. <laughs> Carlos Silva from the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Mark, just in terms of what Marcus has been able to do uh, with that big block, and not only that, but then as he really shifted from shooting from the left hand to a right hand, just how much of a help was he tonight? And then just how much of a, I guess, just crazy way to show that he has improved by making those free throws right-handed? Yeah, how about that? I mean, here's a guy that, you know, changes shot. I'd like to take credit for it, but um, he, I think he did that on his own about a month ago. Started changing his left hand and start shooting his right hand. And he's, it looks a whole lot better, but quite honestly, it still hadn't been going in as in practice. So uh, we were crossing our fingers, but just a great competitor. And, and uh, he just plays with so much emotion. He, you know, first half didn't have a really good, good half defensively or offensively, but uh, he's made some huge defensive plays down the stretch and plays with a lot of energy and emotion. And, and, you know, again, Marcus is one of those guys that had a lot of offers to go other places and a lot of uh, chances to go play in other high D1 schools and want to be here at Texas Tech. So great young man. I'm so happy for him. Hey, Coach, Jared Johnson inside the Red Raiders. Um, speaking of Marcus, it seemed like from last year to this year, he's really improved as a perimeter defender when switching, like to an elite level. How was he able to do that? Well, he's just worked at it. You know, he started working on it last year, and he's got very quick feet and 
great hands, and you know, I tell him he could be a, could be a boxer or maybe a NFL tight end because he's 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 and he's fast. So we we tell him all the time, time how athletic he is, and just you know he's been one of our best ball defenders all year. So we have a lot of confidence when we switch that he can stand in front of those guards. John Titel from HoopsHD.com. Uh, what would 1979 Texas Tech graduate Mark Adams say to 2022 Texas Tech head coach Mark Adams about making the Sweet 16? Well, I'd, I'd say um, dream big dreams and don't ever give up on your dreams because, um, you know, I, you know, there was a certain time in my life when I was winning at certain levels and I, you know, I, I thought I was the next John Wooden and, and I was the only in the room that thought that. And, and uh, then, you know, I had some success and failure. And, and you know, so much of getting these jobs is, is uh, just having timing and the right opportunity. But God's blessed with, God blessed with me with this. So I, I was really got out of coaching for about seven years and went back to hired college because I just loved the game. I was there for nine and never had any idea that I'd have a chance to, to be here. So uh, I do. I'm, I'm like Kevin. I give God all the credit. and. And it's just been a blessing, and it is encouraging to anybody. Just uh, I don't care how old you are, just uh, don't ever give up on your dreams and, and don't quit on yourself and keep believing. Thanks for that question. Nick Levine, Guardian. Coach, with like a minute 40 left, it looked like you came out in a zone and maybe trapped out of it. Um, and then maybe back to man. Was that something just to throw a different look? Or it, it was. We're, we were uh, just trying to stay aggressive and, and knew that Coach Bray would have some uh, offensive scheme coming up there late. So we were just trying to do something to, uh, you know, to disrupt them some way. So we are able to get by with it, thank goodness. Didn't hurt us. Christian Hay, KTXT Lubbock. Coach Adams, we've talked earlier in the year, and you said your turnover number is 10. This game you had eight. I'm st I know it. How about that? I'm still looking at it. I think we only had eight turnovers. So that's, uh, yeah, this, I mean, on paper, this game really looks – a lot better than I thought. I didn't interrupt you, but you're exactly right. It's this, you know, one of our goals is let's take care of the basketball, and to us that means you know let's don't have like 12 or 14, and we like to get to 10, and so that that is again this shows this team has continued to improve, and that's what's so exciting. We're we're um, you know we're still getting better. We've got a lot of potential left, and and like we saw last game, and now this one, and and so hopefully we'll still make some improvement by next weekend. And then earlier in the week, or yesterday, you mentioned Coach K being one of your mentors. How excited are you if you're excited to go up against him in the Sweet 16 now? Mm, I, I like Coach K. I'm, I'm not that excited. <laughs> I, know, I don't know if he's excited playing, about playing Duke. So, uh, but we'll, uh, hey, we're, we're, you know, we, we're going to take this time to enjoy and, and be happy about You know, we've kind of broken this in. This is a tournament we need to win this weekend. We've done that, and we'll go back and regroup. and and uh, be ready for this weekend. But a lot of respect, for, obviously, for Coach K and for Duke. And I, they've, uh, he's always been a mentor of mine, so I looked up to. Down, not only is he a great coach, but a great person, does so much for basketball. And uh, he's built a program, which we all admire and respect. It's just in one team to the next. He's, he's got a dynasty he's built. And so uh, our hat's off to him. Coach Brady King in Lubbock. They did hit nine threes. You mentioned losing sleep over that three-point shot. Do you feel like you escaped it, or do you feel like nine is all right? Yeah, we just dodged a bullet. I mean, I wouldn't have thought they, if they would hit nine threes, we'd have a chance to win. So, but um, they're you know they're a great shooting team, and they're hard to guard. They spread you out and have so many three-point shooters. And and uh, the other thing, they're just a really good passing team. I look here too. You know, they only had. Um, they just had eight assists. That's I think that's one of the reasons that they didn't get more threes. So I uh, give give our guys a lot of credit for keeping our hands up and pressing the ball, not giving those open looks. So, but um, you know it's um, and they made you know big threes when they needed to down the stretch. So happy to get out here at the win. Coach Pete Christie, KCBD in Lubbock. Uh, I know you noticed uh, when you guys were leaving the hotel today, there were way more Red Raider fans coming out this weekend. Uh, what do you want to say to Red Raider fans to, to get them out to San Francisco now? Yeah, Pete, I was so worried about this game. I really didn't notice, but I heard them at the game. They were, they were uh, loud and, and uh, supportive, and it makes so much – it makes a big difference for us It's it's uh, to give us that encouragement on the, on the floor. And, yeah, we're going to need another big crowd <clears throat> next weekend. So uh, we've had – our, our Red Raider Nation has just been unbelievable, and we're all so appreciative of it. Our guys talk about it all the time. Recruits notice it. and just a big part of our winning. 
Thanks, Coach. Uh, Notre Dame is on deck. So we'll okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Appreciate it. Good luck.